All right, just uh, making the final changes to my crafting system design. A little bit of an update here. Ah, shit. All right, kids, that's why you make backups. But no, really, the what I wanted to show today was my little change to the crafting system using the shulker box unloader. Uh, a lot of you suggested something that I completely expected, and that was using activator rails to power the minecart. Because I believe I might still have a demonstration over here, yeah, from my last video. I showed that without, um, with an activator rail powering a hopper minecart, it doesn't actually suck items. Let's use, like, slime balls. But as soon as you unpower it, it lets them through. It's exactly like locking a hopper using activator rails. And I actually, I, I can honestly say I really didn't think it'd be as easy to implement as it was. But it, it, it was. So simply, I already had the minecarts on top of this block, um, sucking out the items from the shulker box. Um, all I had to do was add an activator rail. And then there's just some simple circuitry to actually lock it so that all of the shulker boxes will end up in that double chest. And I can just demonstrate this right now. So let's come back down here where we would be crafting. Say we, short, say we store all of our slime balls in pink shulker boxes, because why wouldn't you? Let's throw them in about an inventory size. And then the items will go up. Let's just track these a little bit. They come up to the water stream and then they get put in. Just like before. Same exact thing. But this time, all of the shulker boxes will be put into the chest right here. You can see as soon as it's done, it will lock the it will lock the hopper mine carts by powering the activator rail, and then it pushes the empty shulker box over to the side. Let's turn that down just a touch. Then you can see, as soon as this one is done, I probably shouldn't have put in full ones to demonstrate, but you can see all of them will be put into this chest, completely negating the use of all of these filters and the unloading system. All of the slime balls will come down straight into this system, or, or one block over, so the official spot for the crafting table has moved over two blocks. Pardon any background noise if you can hear it. But that's pretty much it. Um, anything else more to say on this video can be seen in the original upload, which I can link in the description below. But that's pretty much just an update for this design. It's a lot easier to use now, and I'm really happy with this fix because I thought it could have been po I thought it was possible. I really probably didn't give it as much thought as I should have. But here you go. Just uh, lock the activator rail. Of course, there'll be a world download for this without the TNT. In fact, the one I'm on now, I'll link a world download. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed a uh, little update. Just people kept commenting it and I implemented it. So yep, that's it. Thanks for watching.